Welcome to the eMotion LV1 video tutorials. In the last video, we learned how the patch window uses filters to create specific patching grids based on the type of patch needed. IOs, channels, and channel information are displayed or hidden according to the purpose of the patch. A patch is created at the intersection of horizontal and vertical grid lines. Click on a patch point to make a single patch. Drag vertically, horizontally, or diagonally to create several patches. Click again to remove the patch. Use the Delete button to clear all patches on the current grid. A valid patch is turquoise. A red patch indicates that the device is not available. When you attempt a patch that involves an I.O. channel, you'll receive a warning prompt asking if you really want to make the change. Turn off this prompt by deselecting Show Patch Warnings, which is in the Troubleshooting section of the Mixer Settings page. The Input Patch view is used to patch between a SoundGrid I.O. and Mixer input channels. You can also patch from driver channels. This is the only patch view where signal flow is from top to left. The mixer has two identical mixer inputs. Select an input before you begin to patch the mixer. An I.O. device channel can be patched to more than one mixer input channel. A stereo channel appears as two independent channels, L and R, each with the same name. The two sides are patched separately, whether from a single stereo I.O. channel or from two different mono channels. A mixer channel or mix bus out can be patched to any available hardware or software I.O. that's been assigned to the mixer. The output view has two grid filters, channel direct outs and mix buses out. Mixer outputs are displayed on the left, I.O. device channels along the top. Whether a channel is mono or stereo is shown on its strip. Each channel or bus can patch from one of four sources, indicated by the multicolored buttons. To select the source, click on its button. Sources are color-coded. Input is green. Before all processing, after input gain. Pre is purple. Pre fader, after processing. Post fader is orange. Post fader, after processing. And post panner is blue. Post fader, after processing, and after panner. Source settings apply to both sides of stereo channels. All affected patches and connected IOs will use the same source. The internal routing view patches channels and buses within the mixer. Patch from input channels, groups, effects and monitor aux channels, main outs, and matrix. These can be patched to groups, main outs, and matrix. You can also use the internal routing view to assign channels to links and mute groups. Depending on a source's position in the signal flow, some of these patches are not possible. This is indicated by a blacked-out grid area. All channels and buses can be assigned to links and mute groups. The device-to-device -device patch view is a network patch bay. It enables all devices assigned to the mixer to patch between each other. A device can patch to another device, but not to itself. When you're patching from a device, you may want to collapse the input channels of that device in order to avoid confusion. Delay groups are collections of I.O. device channels whose delay can be controlled as a unit. These are not audio buses, but rather controls. The mixer's 16 delay groups are listed on the left side of the patch grid, along with their user-defined delays. 
Delay groups are also established in the output section of the channel window. You now know how to patch between IOs and the mixer, within the mixer, and among the devices that are assigned to the mixer. Remember, everything that you can patch in this window can also be patched somewhere else in the mixer. Where to patch depends upon the details of the project, the specific kind of patch, and a good deal of personal preference. In the next video, you'll be introduced to the channel window, which gives you comprehensive control of a channel. After that, we'll cover each section of the channel window in detail. Thanks for watching this eMotion LV1 video tutorial. See you next time.